Luke 2, 4 through 7. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. I love thinking about everything around Jesus being born. It's a wild story if you think about it. So Joseph is in this place where he's, he's trying to do right by his family, by his future wife, who is presently at that moment pregnant. Can you imagine how tough of a conversation that would have been around the family turkey at Bethlehem? All of the house and lineage of David were there, which meant all of Joseph's people were there. They were everywhere. However, when it came time to give birth, there was no room in the family inn. So they had to go back around the back and find a stable that was filled with animals and they cleared out the trough that they were eating in so they could lay in a manger. Now Jesus, Jesus should have been born like at the greatest palace ever or on top of the highest part of Jerusalem overlooking all of his people. That's where Jesus should have been born. Rather, instead, he was in some shack around back where the animals hung out. Why would God do something like this? Why did God choose to have Jesus born in the most humble of circumstances? Well, God has a history of choosing weak people to do the greatest things for him. God chooses the insignificant, the overlooked, and the weak to do mighty things for his glory. The prophet Samuel even said, God doesn't look at outward appearance, but he looks at the heart. It's no different with a manger and a baby. Over and over, we see God doing the undoable and using those that seem like a foolish choice. That baby would dwell among us, never sin, and save the world with his death and resurrection. God doing the undoable in the most unthinkable way. And this will be a sign to you, a baby in a manger. That was God's plan. His plan for redemption and salvation Ultimately, it's the greatest display of his wisdom to us, a savior in a manger.